When you first log into your system, there'll be no existing customers in it, obviously. So you'll need to add your first customers. What you'll do is you'll go over here to click on the new button in the top folder. You'll notice that we have the ability to add partners, folders, customers, and users. These first three are the types of tenants that we can add to the system. For every partner, there is the ability to add your own partners underneath. You can also add folders as a way to administratively control the different levels of a hierarchy that you set for your customers. And then of course you can add a customer. You hit add a customer. We'll add a demo customer. And then we have the ability to choose between trial mode and production mode. If you set it for trial mode, the customer will be in a trial for 30 days and then will automatically switch over to production at the end of those 30 days. You can also choose between 18 different languages. We hit next, we're gonna be able to choose all of the services. We'll first start with the cyber protection services. There's both backup and cyber protect. The cyber backup product comes in three editions, standard, advanced, and disaster recovery. The standard edition comes with most of the basic functionalities that most small businesses need. The advanced one comes with features and functionality for medium and large size businesses. And then the disaster recovery edition includes all of the advanced edition functionality plus Disaster Recovery Edition includes the ability to perform disaster recovery into the Acronis Cloud. For Cyber Protect, we are going to be adding all of the antivirus, patch management, vulnerability assessment, and other features that we'll take a look at later. And we again have a standard advanced and disaster recovery edition of each of those. Down below, you can also add file sync and share, physical data shipping, and notary functionality for the customer. Once you've selected the solution for the customer, you can then come in and choose all of the quotas for the customer. You can either set them to unlimited or some softer quota than that so that you can set two levels of quota. One is an initial quota at which they will receive a notification and then a hard limit so that they can be stopped from overusing the system. You can also choose amongst the, all of the different services that you make available to the customer. It is not necessarily true that you need to give every single customer every single service. And so you can pick and choose and create offerings in the way that you want. You can also choose the amount of storage they have both for their cloud storage and for their local storage. Once you've created all of the customer's quotas, then you can also then add an administrator for that customer. For those of you who are doing white glove service like a managed service provider, you may not need to do that. You can click the skip and close. Otherwise, you'll be making an administrator for the customer and it's often recommended. At this point, and if an administrator had been created, they'll get the same sort of validation email that you got when you started your trial. And then you will be able to see the customer in the system. Once the customer is in the system, you can edit the system that they have, and you can also switch them to production from trial as well.